Tales of Fantasia begins with Adios A battle A battle between five people Four versus one The guy's right seems to be winning And all of a sudden Anyway, in this game, you play as a guy, his name is Kles, a swordsman in training. Anyway, he's set on, he's go, you're going to be sent on an errand, I believe to fetch a pig, and then from there the story really takes off. And really, that's why I want to save the story, because when you fall down, probably spoil it, but it's a very emotional story. Uh, hopefully you'll see it when you get it. Okay, on to the next day. I know since it's a Tales game, you probably don't really want to hear too much of a story. You probably want to hear about the gameplay. How's the gameplay? I have one word. Intense. Graphics in Tales of Fantasia, well, this version anyway, are very good. It's a perfect mix of 2D with 3D, basically, the sprites and characters, everyone is 2D and surroundings are 3D ish, but it still has a mix of 2D a little bit, which is pretty cool, I think. Okay, here we are at the world map, which is also in 3D. Anyway, we're just wandering around, exploring. Anyway, in this game, unlike the other Tales, newer Tales games, they are random battles. Yes, yes, I know, random battles. It's not really, um, I feel it's not really a big deal. But at the same time, it's an advantage and a con. The advantage is one. The battles are not so long and they're pretty pretty quick. But um it won't really become a con, probably not till close to near the end of the game. I'm not I'm not gonna tell you about the battles but um, it's a certain part where the, the game just puts you at his mercy and it just keeps going and going and in that and you really need a break from these random battles, but it's not really, for most of the game it's not a big deal. It doesn't really take away from the experience. Okay guys, as I promised, I got to go in depth with the battle system. Okay, let's head over to my TV. You know you're a very beautiful woman, I mean. I'm very a very, very beautiful woman. Hey YouTube and welcome finally to the battle. Anyway, I'm gonna go through the battle real quick. Anyway, first thing we have is abilities, which is really self explanatory. Well, this is your character, you give it commands, you can sub commands for your character you're controlling, and you can also sub give up commands for well, your computer control allies. Next up, it will be, it will be the strategy. Unlike the later Tales of Fantasia games, it's not as complex. It's really about maybe five, once five of them here. Yeah? I'll use about, I'll use maybe three of them. For now, we're going to say defend yourself just for the purpose of the video, so I can explain it a little bit better. Okay. And of course, we have formation. We can move 
the characters in different places. Okay, let's move Mint all the way to the back. And I'll move myself all the way over there. Anyway, next up is items, which you can use. Anyway. And of course, stay. Now you have four skills equipped. Yeah. It's not as complex as the other Tales games, but it works. I know you saw footage of me switching between menu quick and fast. And trust me, you won't know how to use all this stuff because later on, as the game goes on and you fight other opponents, you need to be quick with your fingers. Anyway, I'm just going to finish the battle and I'm going to conclude. If you hold, if you press R2 and L2, that's your shortcut. Okay. That took longer than I expected. I've been to this game in such a long time, man. Okay, that's the battle. Anyway, this is a, it's a very good game. It's quite long too about maybe 60 50 hours game it's a very good game and the yeah, Mirage version is out which i'm going to cover in my next video but anyway it really doesn't really matter which version you get i highly recommend you get this game and now guys i must leave you again and it's great to be back once again and also stay tuned for my special on tales of fantasia i call it what is tales of fantasia in which i go into more details about tales of, Meto of fantasia the mythology and I go through each various version because I have played most of the new version I really haven't touched is the PSP version and I played some of the Game Boy version but mostly I played the Super Nintendo and Game Boy version anyway this is Kenbe and I'm signing out for the night okay one peace goodbye guys